At what point did uh, your Judaism, your Jewishness, become part of your musical work? It's always been part of it. It's always been part of it. You know, uh, Richard Rogers was once asked when he wrote, and then the King of Siam, you know, the King and I, said, someone said to him, what do you know about Siamese music? He says, what's Siamese music? Everything I write is Jewish music. I wouldn't say it's quite the same for me, but I think it's in my blood. You know, my earliest music, believe it or not, was uh, was playing and writing for Latin bands in the Europe. My earliest songs were in Spanish. I don't speak Spanish, but there's something about the music that I, I would tell you I think is kind of I don't know. There's a, there's a similar soulfulness to it. But I mean, I, I've actually written music for our temple, uh, and I've written um, when my my, my f father passed away many years ago. I wrote a piece that we recorded with the. Um, uh, uh, Tel Aviv, uh, Israel Philharmonic actually in Tel Aviv and that's been part of our service here on uh, Yom Kippur for 30 years since my father passed away and, and from time to time especially if Nate Lamb asked me to write something for the temple I'm there you know it's, it's part of my heart it's part of my soul music is what I do and I like to do it all you know